Russian soldiers refuse to fight in southern Ukraine, they surrender. The dismissal of former Russian 58th Combined Arms Army Commander Major General Ivan Popov and the issues he cited continue to have effects on Russian military operations in southern Ukraine and the discourse around these operations. The Institute for the Study of War ISW reported this. It is noted that a prominent Kremlin-affiliated Russian mill blogger accused Ukrainian forces of attempting to exhaust Russian forces defending in southern Ukraine and noted that the Russian military command has not solved the force rotation issues Popov outlined before his dismissal. Another prominent mill blogger supported Popov, noting that the issues Popov outlined seem more important issues for the Russian Ministry of Defense to address than transferring Popov to Syria or other information mitigation measures. Some Russian mill bloggers amplified reports of several Russian assault groups with forces of up to a platoon simultaneously surrendering to Ukrainian forces in the Zaporizhia direction. Persistent issues with Russian logistics and operations in southern Ukraine may have contributed to these forces' inability or unwillingness to fight and reported resulting surrender. Last week, it became known about the dismissal of the commander of the 58th Army Major General Ivan Popov. This happened after his report to the chief of the Russian general staff, Valery Gerasimov, in which, according to Popov, he reported to his superiors about the difficult situation in the Zaporozhye region, in the battles for which the army is involved. Analysts say Popov's removal is likely to have an immediate but minor impact on Russian forces in Ukraine. Popov's dismissal and reports of complaints about a lack of troop rotation further confirm the weaknesses of Russian defense in Ukraine.